everyone. I hope that you like this card that you see because this is the card that we're going to make together. I think it's really pretty and I love the soft watercolor effect. So we're going to do something very similar to this one. I made this and thought that I had enough stuff left over to recreate it and I thought well let's just do that online and maybe you guys would like to see it as well. So I'm using these stamps from Rubbernecker. It is www.rubbernecker.com and these are called Wildflowers in the Wind. They were $16.90 and you get four different Yes, four different stamps that are cling mount, um, and I thought they were really pretty. And I'm using, go figure, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I still only have these four. These um, are the ones that I'm waiting for the others, but I really wanted to try different things with them, and I think I really like how they look with this. And then we'll put some ribbon on, and I still have half of the... <clears throat> card base left so we'll just use the same card base to make our second card and I think I'm going to send this to a friend of mine and I need a big block for the biggest and then the other ones all fit on the smaller block I think or did I you know what I just used the big block for all of them so that's what I will do again that way <clears throat> excuse me I don't have to worry too much so I'm using some watercolor paper, and I don't know much about watercolor paper. Uh, I think you guys saw in my Simon Says haul that I got some watercolor paper, and I got this Essentials Watercolor Artist Pad, 119 pound. You got 15 sheets. Honestly, this was cheap. It was like $2.99 or something, so it's not expensive at all, and it's kind of fun to play with. But it does a nice job for what I need it to do. There's, It's a little bit, I don't know, I just need to play some more because I don't know if it's it and I don't want to blame it on it. Uh, so what I like to do first is, and this is what they tell you on the Rubbernecker stamp site, is <clears throat> to put this down where it shows it on the picture. And then you'll base all of your others off of this one because it's a layered stamp. And then you just need to, I like to put it parallel to the block on this side. And then also I do the same on the bottom side. So this is a layered stamp, but the picture is not on this side too. I wish that it was, but it's not. So um, that's the only problem, I guess, with the rubbernecker stamps. Not that it's a problem because they teach you a way to do it and it does work. So. I, especially when you're doing the watercolors, it's great. And these are made for a watercolor, or at least for, you know, to look like watercolor. So I'm putting this down, and then I will take my green ink. Oh, 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 first, because I didn't do this last time, and I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to spritz a little bit of this, just plain water, on my watercolor paper. And then I'm going to take my little spongy thing and I'm gonna take the shaded lilac even though I'd really rather use some blue but I don't have any blue yet oh whoops look what I just did ding bat put the end on it and then I'm gonna take this and just bonk it on here and then I'm gonna kind of make a soft background if I can hopefully and hopefully it will look kind of blue because it's the purple is not too too purple and I figured I could use a different, and I'm going to spritz this with a little bit more water because it just gives a subtle, and I think it looks blue, so that's fine with me because I want it to look like the sky. And see what this paper does? It kind of comes up a little bit. I don't know if that's my technique or my lack of technique or if it's just the paper because it's cheapo paper or if it's a combination or I don't know. And frankly, it's easy enough to deal with. I just wanted it to have a little bit of color and I'm not even sure that that's given me enough. So I think I am going to go in with a different color and I'm going to use this brilliant blue, which hopefully isn't too brilliant. If I'm stamping up and let's see what I can do with this 
Ooh, that is very blue. And hopefully I didn't just ruin it. Let me take some of this water, put it down. Oh, good. And try to get some of that color off. I don't know what's going on outside. It's Saturday morning when I'm filming this, so who knows, huh? Oh, I just did it again, didn't I? I should stamp off and then stamp back on. That's okay. I'm trying to push some of that color off, and it seems to be coming, so that's good. And... I'm just going to go all the way down the paper, but I'm kind of making it ombre, I think, at least in my head. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look horrible to you guys. Oh, I think that looks pretty cool. And the paper is pretty wet. So what I'm going to do is... I guess I should have turned, I should have taken this one off and put on a different one, but oh well, I already did it. I done dooted it, so I don't want all those papers in here. <sighs> Fine and dandy. Okay, so my husband is actually still sleeping, so know if he'll wake up or not. I'm trying to kind of hurry. My daughter has seen your pictures at 11, so that is in about 45 minutes. I'm going to uh, heat this up so it's not so wet. Heat this up so it's not so wet. I guess that term would be dry it. <laughs> there. Okay. And so now I'm taking this stamp pad that has the green base leaves on it and I'm or grass on it. And I'm just stamping this up with this Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Evergreen Bow. And I put these in upside down because that way when you're pushing on it to use it for something else or even when you're getting it out, you won't get the ink all over your fingers. Not that I mind having ink on my fingers. I'm kind of used to it, but I'd prefer not to. And then we, I'll take it kind of over because I don't want to stamp over it on here, but I'm just going to spritz some water on it. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but I have just a little spritzer that I got from somewhere. And I'm just lining this up with the bottom of the page and the side of the page and I am stamping that on let's see if I can tell where I got this I do not know but it was it's three ounces and it was 99 cents and it's just a nice little spritzer and I just fill it with water so I can use it for all my watercolor projects or whatever I need it for isn't that cool I think that just turns out so cool it's like I don't know it's just really neat and it will dry a little bit lighter just FYI so now I'm going to go and clean this off, but I need to put some cleaner on it because I haven't done that today, and I like to put cleaner on it every day when I'm using it. Obviously, I wouldn't put it on there if I'm not using it. Okay, so that's that one, and I'm going to put this one back because we don't need this one anymore. And I'm anal, so there's that. And now, let's see. I, it doesn't tell you what order to do them in, and I don't think it really matters, but, and I don't even remember what order I did it in yesterday <clears throat> when I made the first card, but let's see. I think I will go with, because I kind of want it to be whatever you put on top is what is the next, you know, is the closest to you. So I think I'm going to go with this bright red pink next. And I, I know I did this one last last time but that's okay let's see how does this one go it goes like that so now I'm still lining up the stamp to the green base 
at the bottom and at the side. And then I'm going to use the pink for this. <clears throat> And I'm just inking it up pretty darn good because I want this to be a little more vibrant than yesterday because it did, like I said, dries a lot lighter than I expected it to. And that just may be the ink color, so I may not get it any darker, but I figure it's worth a shot. Maybe I just didn't ink it up enough yesterday. So I'm putting the lid on, putting that away, and then I'm going to do the spritz thing again. And I'm, I want you guys to see it, so I'm going to try to... Here, I'll move that a little bit. I just literally spritz that and line it up with the bottom whoops and the side and push 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 and I think it is just light pink ink but see how that like does it and it makes these placed where they need to be now it's not like a set deal that they have to be in any particular spot and I think I might even use another pink and see what I can do about brightening that up a little bit and if I get it a little off I'm not gonna worry because I think that might even look cool so let me see what I have in my small little color block if I have any pinks have a lid that's not a good thing is it I think I know which one that is too here's kind of a mauvey reddish color let's give this a whirl and I am just stamping this back up with this ink and I'm hoping that it has yes I'm stamping this back up with this ink and I'm not going to spritz it again because I didn't clean it yet and it's still got some water on it from the last time so Let's see how this will look. Hopefully I didn't just ruin it. But I don't think I did. So I'm going to line it up with the bottom. Whoops, I have to get over at the top of it. So sorry if my head is in your way. I can't tell. And the grass, and I'm just going to push this down. Push, 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 push. And then I'll lift it up. Oh, it didn't really, it gave a little bit more. And this one's really needing some help. This little guy is that little guy. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's this little guy right here. So let me see what I can see. I'm going to lift this up and I'm actually going to just push that one down because he needs some help. Yeah, and it didn't really do much different. So I'm going to take my little watercolor brush <laughs> where there's a will there's a way and let's see if I can get some of this ink on my brush and then I'm just going to ink some I must have just not got him colored up enough and I think I might dry this now because it is a little wet and you can see how it's folding I might even take a little marker and color that in just a little bit or I might just leave it the way it is because you know what it's fine okay so I'm done with this one so I can put him in here and now I need to do let's do the purple which is this little guy and I line him up with the purple on here. And I'm taking my little thing and I'm gonna turn it over because it's still kind of wet. And smush him down. And now I'm going to take the purple. These are probably my favorite flowers. I don't know what they're called. If you guys know, please let me know because I love these flowers and I'd even like to have some in the yard. They're kind of long and purple and they kind of grow a little bit tallish. Not tall, but taller than some other flowers and they're just beautiful. And yeah, that's right. So I just line this up and push, push, push. And there, 
those are I just like those I don't know what they are called but they are just pretty that's what they're called pretty and I didn't even <laughs> the paper is wet enough that I didn't even spritz it with water and I think that it's okay that I didn't and now I'm gonna do yellow and I'm gonna do that on where the light pink is on here, I'm making that yellow, and I think that it goes this way. And there's one there, and then there's several in the bottom. I think it's like that, and then like that, and then like this, and then like that, and then bop, 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 and this is the scattered straw and line it up with the bottom line it up with the side and press and push 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 and lift straight up and there we go isn't that cute I think that just turned out really cute and I I even like the blue sky looking I think that looks really neat I think I do need to dry it a little bit but ooh, I'm liking that. And I wonder if I should put like a sentiment on it. I didn't do that on the other one, but I wonder if I could put something on it. I don't know. It seems like it would need something kind of frilly or romantic. I guess that's what I see in my head. Okay. So rubberdecker.com, rubber I really like this stamp set. I um, had ordered stuff from them a long time ago. I've ordered some other stuff. I didn't do a haul on them, but like I ordered this. This was on sale, so it wasn't $5.90. I think it was $2.50, but it's just a big straw hat. I haven't used it yet, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, they have pretty good prices. Oh, this is hilarious. It says, my, and this was $3.90, but I think it was on sale for like a dollar. Um, my office recently started Cocktail Fridays. It's just that it takes place in the ladies' room handicap stall, and I'm the only one who knows about it. I thought that was funny. I might use that for one of a card for a coworker or something. I thought it was cute. So let me dry this just a little bit. And I have these wonderful words stamps that I got from, I believe, Stamping Up. Ugh. Smile, peace, hope, forever, and love, thank you, friendship, and celebrate. Those are pretty, though. Those look like they would be something that I could see across the top. Um, I might do the one that says friendship. And I'm thinking of doing it in black across here. And then I think I'll still put a ribbon. I don't know. Or do I just want the ribbon? And maybe a smaller sentiment or no sentiment. I like the ribbon. Let me see how much ribbon I have left because I know that that was just a scrap ribbon. Oops, I just dumped out all of my pins. That was a scrap ribbon and I'm not sure. Oops. Um, how much I have. Oh, here it is. Goodness gracious, I dumped out more than one pack. Okay, so if I did this here, although that's upside down, I'd 
have to use not very much of it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a ribbon. And I might just do a knot instead of a bow. Because I don't know if I'll have enough for a bow. So I'm going to take just regular tape and put this down. to hold the ribbon tails down. And it looks like you went all the way across, but you didn't. I mean, you go all the way across the front, but just not the sides. Now, if I was really good, I might be able to make this much into a bow, but I am not that good. So I'm just going to go for a knot. And hopefully I can, there's enough there to do a knot. And this definitely needs the double knot because this satin ribbon will not stay with just one. So I'm trying to make the satin ends out. And I got one of them out and one of them in, but that's okay. I'll just deal with it. And there we go, I think that's really pretty. Now let's go ahead and get the card base done. And we're just going to fold this in half. And I'm going to use my bone folder. Push that down. And then this will go on top like this. And see how this, I started it just a little bit up. I think I'm just going to trim that down just a little bit. I was wondering if it would look funny, but after putting it on the base, I don't think it will. So I'm just going to line that up on my cutter and just slice that little piece off. Stuff is falling. Stuff is falling. The sky is falling. And so now I'm going to use my ATG gun. And do all four sides, a little bit in the middle, and make sure I have the card opening the right way, because trust me, I have done that before. And put it on here. And there we go. I wonder if I put in any of the Wink of Stella, if that would look decent or if that would look silly with the watercolor. I'm going to sneeze. Oh. Oh, whew, excuse me. That was a big one. Um, this paper. Okay, well, I think that that might just do it. I think I'm done. So I hope you like it. I, I don't know which way you guys can see it better, so I'll just put it this way. I think that that is good. And it's so, so pretty. It is very lovely, and I can see, I could even see this as a sympathy card or just a hi, how are you card or you're my great friend card or thank you for being you or thank you or please forgive me or I'm sorry or whatever. I think that this is a card that could be used for just about anything. And it would probably be a good card to put in, like if you were giving a gift of cards or something. You could even do, like if you were giving eight cards, I was just not thinking, you could do eight variations of the card with this design, I bet. Because you wouldn't have to do it in the corner each time. You could do it in the corner and up here or you know what I might do that maybe I'll do a design eight cards with one stamp or maybe five cards with one stamp or even four I don't know well I'm just talking now but um, maybe I'll do that because this is kind of a really cool set and I like it a lot and it's very easy so 
Um, we'll see. Look for that. If you're interested, let me know. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.